Hi everybody, welcome back to our Facebook Live. We're glad you're back with us and if you're a first time viewer with us, welcome. Maybe we'll get something out there that you don't already know. I thought today I'd start by talking a little bit about the action that my city council took today. We had a virtual called meeting today to talk about the extension of the declaration to change the date to April 7th instead of April 3rd. That gets us in line with the county so that everybody expires on the same time. I'll tell you that declaration was just extended by four days, but you need to know that the declaration can be shortened or could be extended by your council on an ed needs basis. So we'll continue to provide you with updates and updates on our emergency responders and our personnel. It's incredibly trying time and our community has come together in ways that have even surprised me, a native Fort Worthian, and I've seen this community do amazing things. Our public libraries are accepting donations from so many of you for masks, gowns, gloves, and much more. It'll be accepted at the four regional public libraries through April the 1st. You can drop them off there if you have stuff that can be used. And uh, get this, this is an interesting fact. Fort Worth's own distiller, TX Whiskey, Firestone and Robertson, is donating more than 100 gallons of hand sanitizers to help our first responders. That's an incredible use of the distillery, put to use to help you, our citizens, help our first responders. The list of what Fort Worth residents are doing goes on and on and on. But no homemade materials for now, folks. Businesses and individuals are encouraged to donate. Whatever you have, give us a call, call the hotline, we'll see. I also wanna thank UNT Health Science Center and UT Southwestern Moncrief Center. They have set up an off-campus COVID-19 testing site exclusively for first responders. They can drive through and get tested very quickly. The reason that's so important is we need to keep them working. And this is the first drive-through facility. And an officer who is exposed or a firefighter who's been exposed, potentially we would have to quarantine for 14 days. Now we'll get their test results back in less than 72 hours. And if they're negative, they're free to go back out to serve you. The drive-through testing facility is a partnership with HSC, Quest Diagnostics, Diagnostics, Catalyst Health Network, Fort Worth Fire Department, and Keith Augenbright at UT Southwestern and, Do and the director of the Moncrief Cancer Institute. So thank you all for helping our first responders. It's just another example of our community stepping up to serve in a time of crisis. There are hundreds of you out there doing wonderful things. MedStar told me today that instead of hugs, they now had teddy bears and they were putting teddy bears in their office windows. And when you walked by that teddy bear, you could consider yourself hugged. I understand there are a few neighborhoods doing that too. And many people putting Christmas lights out to signify that there's still a lot of joy out there. Keep them up, share those stories with me and we'll share them with other people. You know, together we will get through this. I had a call today with the big city mayors in the state of Texas. That's about the top 15 cities in the state. And one of them was my dear friend, Harry LaRossiere, the mayor of Plano, who always calls me big sis. He says he's my brother from another mother. The question that Harry asked that I just love is, who is it that you love that you're willing to stay home for? So who is it that you love that you're staying home for? I'm a grandmother of six, a mother of three, and I'll tell you, I'm trying to stay home for those precious babies of mine and for my children and my friends too. So share with me on Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram who it is that you love enough to stay home for, and we'll tag our friends in Plano and tell them. Remember, y'all stay safe, y'all stay healthy, and y'all stay home.